Hello everyone and welcome to week 8 of Make a Monday, the recap for this week and the favourite selection. And this week we had a challenging data set, well, and a challenging topic that was kindly prepared for us by Hannah Mikowska. And this was about the protest against the abortion, uh, limiting abortion rights in Poland. And uh, I thought everyone did a really great job in trying to take this topic and handle it with care and create their visualizations, do some analysis and put their uh, their spin on the, the story that came from the data. And we saw a lot of maps, we saw a lot of uh, timelines, which is great. And I think it definitely lends itself to a map. You also saw that in Andy's Viz this week, he created a map of where these protests happen. And I guess the unique part of the story is it didn't just stay in Poland. There were protests all over the world uh, in yeah, solidarity with uh, Polish people. So this week I have three lessons for you to take away from the week's challenge, things that I've noticed. And the first one is, if you did create a map, please put Poland in the centre. Don't put the US in the centre and have Poland to the far right of your screen because it's a story about Poland, not about the US. Now, whatever country is in the centre of your map is probably what's in your settings in Tableau. Um, or if you choose another tool, that's probably the case as well. So look at your location settings or just drag Poland to the center so that the focus of the story is really in the middle, not on the edges. The second one is to provide contextual information. This is not, it's not sufficient this week to just put a map with some dots on it out there because people will not understand what it's about. I think here is really a, it's not about protest against or for abortion as such. It's a protest against the limiting of the rights. And I think this needs to be explained a bit, especially because most people who peruse social media are unlikely to know detail about these kind of issues, but particularly how they relate to Poland. So what's going on there? Uh, so it's important, you know, include a bit of text, include some descriptions, annotate your data so people understand what's going on. And last but certainly what did I say there? I wrote down include a picture. Include a picture. I don't think I meant to say that. I'm going to look at my notes while you hang tight. Include a picture. I have no idea what I meant to say there. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you include a picture, uh, please make sure that you have the permission to use the picture. I saw pictures included in Visas and they look really good but there was no citation of where the picture came from. Now you may have taken it yourself, but maybe not so likely. So if you have the rights to use, well, please only use pictures that you're allowed to use, but also when you use them, make sure that you give whoever the photographer is or the, you know, the owner, give them credit. And those are my three lessons. Now let's head over to the favorites. So the first verse on my list of favorites is from Juliette Goulet and I love that she has created an actual drawing to support her viz. I also like that she has some key figures. And I think this is the type of topic where having some key numbers with explanations make it much more, much easier for basically anyone to understand this data. And then on the right side, the map where it talks about, well, this is, um, you know, the, this is where these protests happened. The, the one little piece of feedback I want to give Juliet is just to check for typos. There are a few in there, uh, but I think overall this is a really interesting visualization and uh, something that would really appeal to a broad audience. Next up, we have Brendan Cornell, Cornell sorry, and he's taken our feedback on board and I really like the updates he's made. So his this is very much black red uh, on white. I really like the white background because it just makes it so much easier to see all the detail. Um, I like that he puts into perspective what the numbers are for abortions for different situations and how many are impacted by this new ruling. And then the map he created as well. So he's called out, you know, Poland, but also other regions in the world where protests uh, took place. And he's included a call to action. Uh, I think this is really great and um, and I like how he's broken up the text so that it's, it's not too much text, it doesn't overwhelm you, but it's enough to really give you the information you need to understand this better. The next up 
we have Ashik and he updated his map after we gave him some feedback and I think it looks really good. I just love the colours. Um, I think this is tasteful. It also is not as, you know, as prominent as the red and black on white, but I think it's more, you know, it makes me think of, well, on the one hand, most of these protests happened at night, so it suits that, uh, having the yellow um, on dark blue. But also, it makes me feel a bit hopeful uh, that, you know, the civic action is having an impact. Yeah, I really like it. I think this is great. And then, last but certainly not least, we have Pamola, uh, sorry, Damola Ladipo. And I can't make a GIF large. So actually, let me go to her individual interactive version because then you can see it all in one place so um so this is kind of what i referred to earlier if you use an image make sure oh there is a photo credit i just can't read it um but i just saw that in the preview so there's this you know really prominent picture up front um, and i love the newsletter sorry newsletter newspaper kind of story layout here so she actually calls it in the story so far so there is a bit of a story up front an explanation of how this has come about and then there's a vertical timeline which looks really really good um, and then also the map oopsie <laughs> good idea to maybe fix the axis because I just messed up the map um, but you know with, with these maps it looks really good I mean this could be an ironverse submission um, and then there's some you know more information at the bottom so I think this is really well done it's a great layout um, I really love this as well so with all that said, I hope you all learned something this week. I hope you all uh, enjoyed working with this data, even if it is a difficult topic and something that requires a bit of delicate handling. Um, it's important that we talk about these topics and you all visualizing data and telling a story about this, you know, these protests um, against limiting abortion rights is really important because the more awareness for these issues there is, the more people can understand, you know, reasons on both sides. And I think while this is one of those topics that are typically taboo and that no one really brings up, we have the ability to do that through data and to use the facts to speak for themselves and in that way to actually support people without having to even take sides. You know, if you just report the facts, you're doing a great service to everyone. So. Next week, I don't know what Andy has planned yet, but I hope you're all going to join us again. This review will be at the usual time. And while there was meant to be Andy Cotgrave joining me, we have to delay that probably to April. And I'm just finishing discussions around uh, March, the March co-host for this review. But you can be sure that it will happen. So I hope you're all having a great weekend. I hope you have good weather, springtime or maybe autumn if you're... Uh, in the southern hemisphere and take care take some rest and we'll speak again all soon and next week with a new data set until then bye bye